Hey YouTube, Hello Bella here, coming to you with the first video of 2021. Just want to say Happy New Year to everybody. Hope that things are going well so far. We are in mid-January, and I just wanted to make a video to do a recap of December 2020 sales. So these were the sales for the last month of Q4, the last month of 2020. And we're going to take a look at how much money I made, uh, the types of items that I sold, and overall strategy uh, of this month and of the month going forward. So I'm going to hop over here to this page. This is going to be my royalties page. So if I scroll down, you can see here for December 2020, after all of the adjustments, I made $5,315. And you can see the past couple of months uh, as well, as you can see that um, my best month ever was uh, October, that was 7687 and then November we went down to 6975 and then December we we're at 5315 But hey, it's nothing to complain about. I'm very happy with that amount of sales. So let's get into the video. The first thing that we can talk about is total sales was 1,279. Now this graph kind of shows how many sales per day I was making and you can see a major, major drop as it got closer to Christmas. Um, the best day was $441 and looks like it dropped uh, all the way from making $300 to $400 a day to only making $40 to $50 to $60 a day. Um, that was after the Christmas rush. So um, that's just kind of typical of this so sort of cycle. Um, it is a cyclical, cyclical business with the t-shirt things. Um, we had 1,279 sales and 74 returns. Average royalty was pretty high, $4.42 per sale. Um, average sales per day, 41. And we made on average $182 a day. So that is pretty good. Um, I've told you guys in the past, I am a really big fan off of cutting your expenses down and living on less so that I don't have to work the nine to five job and have to kind of go into uh, be a, a wage slave, I guess, so that another person can become rich. Um, I really am a big proponent of kind of having some kind of financial independence and, and having multiple income streams certainly helps with that. Um, the best day, as I said before, was $441 in royalties. If I scroll down, we're going to be able to take a look at how many unique products sold. So of everything, uh, 265 unique products sold this month. Um, so that's 3.8% of all of my products. I did make a video showing you guys where I just tiered up to 10,000 slots. So I have not had a chance to fill those slots up yet, but I do have something at least to work forward to um, in the year 2021. Just full transparency with you guys, I haven't done anything in my Merch by Amazon business in January so far. Um, there's a lot of other things going on in my life, so it's kind of been on the back burner. Um, it's one of those businesses that I will revisit whenever I need to, but right now I've just kind of got some other priorities um, in the process of remodeling my kitchen and also just trying to kind of see what goals I want to have for 2021. And I know it's kind of silly to be wondering what your goals are halfway through January, but I kind of wanted to take this month almost like as a way to think about everything um, and, and kind of determine that what what I wanted to work on going forward. Um, but anyways, the standard shirt was my best seller, sold 702 standard shirts. We sold 319 v-necks, uh, 48 sweatshirts, 43 hoodies, uh, 41 premium shirts, 35 tank tops, uh, looks like 30 iPhone cases and 23 long sleeve shirts. And then we got pop sockets. I sold 16. I did sell 11 tote bags. So I'm kind of happy about that. I was skeptical if they would sell at the price point. I think I had them around $17.99 and $19.99. So we sold four Raglans and four Samsung Galaxy cases. And looks like I sold three throw pillows. So that is um, pretty good considering that I didn't upload a ton of those. I just had a few uploaded. So that is pretty good for that. Um, one thing that I will kind of talk about here is I sort of um, went ahead and leaned into the uh, niches that I'm already good at selling and it seemed to pay off. I just kind of went into the ones that were performing well and added a bunch of um, added a bunch more shirts in those categories. So this one is a V-neck shirt. It made me one thousand six hundred and seventeen dollars. Sold two hundred and ninety-five times, and the color of it was dark heather. And then we go down here. This one was a standard shirt, same niche, five hundred and forty-nine dollars. Um, then we got another standard shirt, four sixty-five. Standard shirt for two thirty five, a standard shirt for one sixty seven, another for one sixty seven, and then we got one fifteen, uh, one fourteen. Uh, we've got this tank top here, 
made me $106. So um, just kind of the power of having multiple designs and scaling those out to t-shirts, to hoodies, to tank tops. And especially with it being January, don't forget to think about, you know, those New Year's resolutions. Those tank tops are going to go great on fitness related gear. And, you know, there's always people who are buying those kind of things. It seems like people think that buying something somehow motivates them to um, do a little better in their goals. I mean, maybe that's true because I, sometimes when I buy new workout clothes, I feel like slightly better for maybe a week or so so maybe there's something to it these iphone cases it looks like i had one case that in particular did pretty well um unfortunately i can't show that to you guys because you would copy it and then it'd be kind of a dead thing for me but um looks like that made me 23 dollars um and i think that uh, overall i'm I am happy that we got the t-shirt or the tote bags and the throw pillows, but I really, really wish we would get like stickers or some onesies like for babies, um, something that had a better profit margin and something that sold uh, more often um, because, you know, for baby onesies, you could sell that pretty much one for every single holiday. It'd just be a little bit easier to make sales. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this recap video. I will be putting together um, a more lengthy video on my sales for the entire year of 2020. But for now, I wanted to give you a snapshot of uh, the month of December and kind of look at this as a, a way to make extra income. I don't do this as my full-time gig, but it is certainly a, a definitely a big portion of my income around Q4 because um, the sales go up so high. And I definitely think that I have the potential to make um, even more money next Q4, tip, like even in 10,000 plus if I keep uploading shirts and keep, you know, making the most of my account. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I really hope that you guys are having a good January so far, and I will catch you in that next video where I update you on the whole year's worth of sales. But until then, I will catch you next time. Take care.